That's so good. That's so good right there. Do you feel that, how you came under it like this? Yeah. You didn't have to roll it or pull it like that? Yep, just pops right off the face. Now we pulled the handle there. So do you remember in your last lesson with me, I had you go up to the top and stop and we right. uninterlocked un your hands? Yeah. Right, and the reason we did that was so that your hands could feel like they had two different jobs to do. So if I split your grip and have you hold it kind of like a hockey stick there for me, and I said, just go up to the top and stop, and I said, now all of a sudden, just put that club back down to the ground. Do that three times for me. One, two, three. Show me what you're doing with the handle with your left hand. Where's it going? It's going up and back. It's going up and back, and you're delivering the club head through and forward. So go up to the top and stop again. You know what you're not doing? You're not doing that. Right. So why do we do that in the golf swing? Everybody thinks that their hands have one job. They either roll together or they pull together and they really have two different jobs to do. So yes, you're correct. Your left hand goes up and back and your right hand goes down and under. So let's see it. Slight split if you want to, go for it. Yes, right down the middle just like that. How'd that feel? That felt good. Felt like your hands could easier. do, yeah, because your hands did two different, exactly. They did two different jobs. So that left hand really does come down and in and that right hand cuts underneath like this. And we know that when your body goes into motion, it doesn't really go underneath. It just feels like that. That's it. Yes, Sarah. Look at that. How'd that feel? One felt like it went off pretty easy. Oh, it did. That was the best one that you had. Hey, thanks for following my journey to play better golf. For more golf instructional content, please like, share, and subscribe below. Is it below?